So it says I'm just still uh, right of course quite a bit. I think there's some Ramrod, good crossbow. 6 one Kegu Tower. Copy emergency. You are cleared for landing. Runway 31 left. Rolling fire equipment. And runway Ramrod, 31 left. Six one. Since the F-15 doesn't have an ILS system yet, or a TACAN system in a BMS 4.37.3, um, I've uh, got a hack going to make it work. Uh, basically, before you jump in the jet, you want to place a couple PPTs by right-clicking on the map and adding pre-planned threat steer points, and uh, you need to name them. Uh, you have a huge list of things you can choose. If you click Status, you've got all this list of things. You need to name them so they show up on your situation display in the F-15. And what I've done here is taken the map or the uh, the chart here for Daegu and I want to land at Daegu um, ILS uh, 1 3 right of the two runways 1 3 the heading for this is 1 3 2 and uh, this was seems like it's gonna be a challenging one so what I've done is off the Daegu Takan I've basically taken a steer point and placed a steer point there as steer point number nine in this which is uh, one more than the number of steer points already in my flight plan totaling eight. So I've got a steer point on three one or correction one three right threshold. It's very close to where the tack end would be on this end of the runway. Um, and I'm going to navigate off of that steer point as if it was the tack end using the HSI and the course nub. So here on uh, heading one three two out at uh, well actually on radial three zero seven I've got uh, DME 11.2, I've got something placed there for this this uh, radial here. I've got a PPT placed here for the Yawan initial approach fix right here. And I think I've got a PPT placed right here where this turn... No, no, it's, it's over here at DME 6, uh, where you're supposed to be established on the ILS at 2,350 feet, DME 6. Uh, important to stay above these mountains here. Um, which are, you know, somewhere lower than 4,000 feet um, here. So MSL, is that right? 50, 553 feet? Yeah, MSL. So decision height today, 553 feet uh, uh, MSL for this landing. So here's those um, PPTs, and you can use your ruler tool by placing one and then pretty much right on the, the runway there. Just be careful not to grab your steer points instead of the little ruler triangle. And you can go out, you can see this heading is uh, 312 approximately here to my, where I'm supposed to be established at the, on the ILS at 6.6 miles from where the TACAN would be or the touchdown zone approximately. Here's 11.2 miles to the um, radial 307 to where I need to start making that turn to intercept uh, 132. And here's the Yawan initial approach fix. So I'm going to start the jet over here, and I'm going to turn around and fly to Yawan, and then I'm going to do this approach right here. And I'll just declare an emergency with tower so that they let me land on whichever runway I choose, because they're going to tell me today to land on um, a 3-1, just based on the way that I made this uh, TE. But as I was planning a mission, I would go in and I'd put a fix over here for this one. This is an easy Mickey as the initial approach fix. You're supposed to fly like a DME arc here, or just kind of head this way um, to your uh, right hand turn heading out 312 for this runway. So you place a couple of these things, you know, many air bases don't have complicated approaches. You just need to look at the chart briefly, place a couple PPTs using your ruler tool, uh, save your data cartridge. This is in the TE builders, that's why it looks like this. And, uh, you know, I didn't mention this, but if you recon, recon the air base, or I did mention this, I didn't demonstrate it. Recon, expand your air base, Pick your runways that have an ILS. You have to look at your charts to know this. Daegu only has an ILS on 3-1 left and the reciprocal 1-3 right. Um, so your other runway doesn't have it. Here's the ILS guy for 1-3 right on this side. So uh, steer point 9 for me is going to be... Whoops, did I do that right? I need to choose... Yeah, touchdown zone 1-3 right, steer 9, accept. And I'm just going to save this DTC in the builder. I'm going to save the steer point I need to be referencing right now is... Well, I just need to fly east, basically. So there's 090 on the HUD. 
Yeah, I'm actually, because this course knob takes so long to spin around here, I'm going to immediately bring it over to um, 132. And in my HUD here, I'm going to reference steer 9. 21.7 miles to steer 9. 400 knots going super fast. Oops, forgot. Inlet icing, I need to turn on the anti-ice over there. Caution. Okay, I should be descending from 6,000 to 4,000 here between uh, Yawan and my DME 11.2. So here I am, DME 18. Uh, oh, I'm kind of going the wrong way here. Shit. Okay. Descending too quick here. Let's try two degrees nose down. Got time here, so I'm just going to spin this um, course knob all the way around to one. Three, two. Give me sixteen. I think what this is. There we go. Dim the HUD. Didn't really do anything there. Okay, coming up to the initial approach fix. This is supposed to be radial three one seven. Or three zero seven. One three two. Double check my chart. It's a localizer heading of one three two. And just a few extra degrees. Um, let's see, that's like five degrees beforehand. I'm supposed to make that turn. Uh, I'm just gonna rely on my situation display here coming over what I called the initial approach fix here. Okay, right turn. I'm basically already there right now. So pull the throttle as I make this sharp descent. I'm at 4,000 feet. And at 6.6 .6 miles, supposed to be established ILS. Gear flaps and uh, some speed brake. Stabilize my approach. 2,000 feet at uh, a little early 7 miles. Just under 2,000 feet. It's supposed to be 2350, so 4.7 I can be 1830. Adjusting left to get back on my course here. One, three, two, four miles, 1800 feet. Um, and I'm just keeping the flight path marker like where a, a good glide slope would be at three degrees down, two, three degrees down, depending on what the terrain's doing down here. Call tower, tell them, let's see, tell them I'm on final. Ramrod 61, unable. Contact approach 4630. There's my emergency with tower. So it says I'm just still uh, right, of course, quite a bit. I think there's some. Ramrod 61, Kegu tower. Copy emergency. You are cleared for landing. Runway 31 left. Rolling fire equipment. And runway. Ramrod 61, Kegu right. tower. Wing 320 at 10 knots. Runway 31 left. Cleared for landing. Check gear down. Land one three right. Ground control. We have a flight line emergency. 